the Aegis Firebird and Retaliator receive a buff plus some new information on the next patch for Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 with the Hangar updates. Let's talk. I'd like to give a shout out to Trent Newman for being the newest channel member. Thank you for your support. Big shout out to all channel members, by the way. Thank you for continuing to support me. Before we get into it, I'd like y'all to know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mirai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into it. CIG is making an update to the Aegis Firebird and Retaliator. There was, there was a Spectrum post posted by Xylo not too long ago where it says Aegis Firebird and Retaliator up. It says, Hi everyone, we hope you all enjoying this year's Invictus launch week. As we debut both new and updated ships, we've been closely monitoring your feedback. After careful consideration, we've made the following changes to the Firebird and Retaliator. It says here, the Retaliator Firebird missile count has been doubled from 12 to 24. Man, that's a serious buff. Um, I did do some uh, a combat test with it. If you haven't already, I have a video on that where I, I um, engaged a, a freelancer and took it out within the first pass, but I also uh, engaged a uh, Starfarer plus its escorts. And um, I, it was a bit of a struggle. I ran out of missiles pretty quickly, actually. Um, the first pass, uh, usually I launched four. But what I'm hearing is you can actually launch six from the Firebird itself. So um, if you launch six, right now it's currently 12, a total of 12 missiles, right? So if you launch six on, on each pass, two passes, then you're, 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 you're dry. You're, you know, your most powerful weaponry on the Firebird is essentially depleted. But them buffing this up to 24, that means you get four passes, depending on the amount of uh, missiles you want to launch at each pass okay so that's uh i like it um i did notice that um my combat engagements was was really short because i ran out of missiles so quickly right so um i think it's a great buff um for the ages firebird hopefully it stays hopefully they don't debuff it down because there needs because right now the firebird is um uh being at 12 the talon also is at 12 so there needs to be a little bit of a difference between the ships right now so they also say that the firebird signature reduction has been corrected they increased it from 20 percent to 40 percent so um that's pretty good it's a, it is a stealth ship so that's that's awesome your your target should not know that you're coming <laughs> i feel right that's a, being the type of uh um uh, ship the firebird is it should be um, it should be like a last minute thing before you notice that it's coming and that should be its uh um uh, its advantage uh being a uh, uh a missile boat really um so it says all retaliator turrets have been updated to size three laser repeaters so now the retaliator is a lot more powerful now already the retaliator is super strong in terms of its health pool but now they're buffing it up to be a more viable uh, ship in the battlefield. So I'm really happy about that. All retaliator turrets have had dead zone issues fixed. All right. So it says these updates will be implemented in the upcoming Alpha 3.23.1A patch. All right. It says, as always, thank you for taking time to share your feedback. We'll see you in game. So. Um, I'm going to leave the Spectrum link for this one in the description so you guys can check it out and also leave your feedback there as well. So, so in other news, we've gotten um, an, a message of the day from CIG pertaining to the next uh, 323.x patch, which is going to contain the um, hangar uh, update, which is going to be a big update. So, um, so this is what it says here. It says... Um, we are continuing to work through the remaining blocking issues for 3.23.2, which currently contains hangars, cargo updates, and more. Since these uh, changes have huge widespread effects to, to how every system in our game operates, our goal is to go through with an accelerated Evocati to wave one through five system when ready. 
We are expecting multiple different PTU builds next week starting Tuesday with the 323.2. Hopefully Wednesday will update more here next week. So next week is going to be a busy week to test this. It is going to be a big update because it's going to impact everything. Um, so now let me remind you, this is also going to include the um, cargo missions as well as uh, hangars and um, the kiosks. Uh, so they're going to remove um, local inventory that we have access to, right? So they're going to remove that and then we'll have to use those um, kiosks that we see all over the place now. Uh, to access our personal items so it's going to be a huge update and i think the testing cycle of that will actually be um quite a bit so i think it'll probably be multiple weeks uh worth of testing all right to get updates on those patches as they drop make sure you're subscribed so you get the latest news for star citizen as soon as it drops make sure you're subscribed all right don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one